Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer Next Generation QAS Math Placement Exam. And uh, the QAS stands for Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics. Now, because you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing to take the AccuPlacer uh, QAS Math Placement Exam. Uh, there are uh, other AccuPlacer exams, but the AccuPlacer is a, uh, a series of tests that uh, a lot of colleges and universities use to determine uh, what course to place you in as you enter into their college. Now, if you took a lot of uh, math in high school, let's say you even took you know, uh, up to pre-calculus, you don't want to enter into college uh, you know, into, like, let's say, college algebra, because that's like you know, a lower level course than the math you actually took in high school. So if, uh, you know, you don't do well on the AccuPlacer, you're going to end up uh, potentially in a math course that's lower than what you can actually handle. And of course, that's going to be a big waste of time and money. So it's really important that you uh, do well on the AccuPlacer. Uh, so you're going to have to study. And what I have uh, here for you is a simple practice problem that you should be able to handle pretty easily if you are fully prepared for the AccuPlacer QAS. Let me go ahead and show you the problem. Of course, I'll show you the answer and explain this in just one second. But the problem is, uh, how many outfits can you make given the following? Okay, you have uh, three types of pants, uh, two types of shirts, and two types of shoes. So you can think about that in a second. Matter of fact, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section but uh, try to justify your answer. This is a pretty easy problem uh, in terms of the amount of things you have to count. Uh, certainly, this could be a more challenging problem. But uh, anyways, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the right answer and explain this fully. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and over the years, I've constructed a lot of different math courses to include an AccuPlacer uh, uh, QAS math test prep course. Uh, this course is extremely comprehensive. Matter of fact, I'll leave the link uh, to it uh, in the description of this video, but whether you use a course like mine, uh, you definitely need to do like some uh, real serious study to be fully ready for the AccuPlacer uh, QAS exam. There is a lot of material here, so you just don't want to, you know, be like, oh yeah, I'll remember, you know, what to do, you know, when I take the test just because you took these courses one or two, three years ago. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this problem. So how many outfits can you make given the following? So you can uh, choose from uh, one of three pants. You have uh, two shirts to select from and two uh, uh, type of shoes uh, to select from. So given that scenario, you can make 12 total outfits. Okay, so if you answer this correctly, that is great. Now, I did ask you to kind of justify, uh, you know, your reasoning, right? Because if you look at the numbers, I mean, you're, we have three pants here, right? We have uh, two shirts here and two shoes there. So obviously, we're going to be doing something with three, two, and two. Now, if you said, well, maybe we add these up, so this would be 5 plus 2, 7, well, that's one, you know, possible answer given these numbers, right? And if you just multiply them, like, yeah, I think I'll just multiply them together, and, you know, you got 12, that's fine. Of course, that's the correct answer, but why is that the correct answer, okay? Well, actually, there's two different uh, ways you could answer this uh, problem, okay? And both of these ways you're going to need to understand and this type of problem is what we call a counting problem, okay? So uh, when you study counting, now you might be, you know, thinking counting, well, you know, I know how to count one, two, <laughs> three, four, but really what we're trying to do is count the total number of outfits that we can make. So we are talking about counting, but not simple counting like you uh, learn in the first grade, right? Or preschool or kindergarten. So uh, when you are dealing with counting, there is uh, two different pr approaches you can um, use. There is what we call a tree diagram. Now, if you're not familiar with that, of course, I teach all of this in my uh, courses. Um, now, 
Now, the tree diagram is an excellent approach, and it's a good approach to use uh, when you don't have too many things to count, okay? Like in this particular um, problem, we could easily use a tree diagram, but when you're counting, when there's a lot more things going on, you're going to want to use something else, and that something else is the fundamental counting uh, principle, okay? So this is something that you definitely need to know. And let me go ahead and just read this to you. It's pretty straightforward. It probably sounds more complex than it is. But it says, uh, if one event can occur in uh, M ways, so if one event can occur in M ways and another event can occur in N ways, then the number of uh, ways that both events can occur is equal to M times N. Okay. So uh, oftentimes when you read a kind of formal uh, mathematical principle, it doesn't really make a lot of sense until you look at, an uh, look at an example. And this problem here that we're trying to solve is a perfect example to understand the fundamental county principle. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. So we're trying to determine how many different outfits we can make, right? So here we are. We have some pants and some shirts and some shoes. And here you are, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, you know, uh, what should I wear today, right? I got uh, three pants, uh, I have uh, two shirts, and I uh, have two shoes. Now, of course, you know, all of us want to be conscientious about what we wear. So you're thinking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Friday, you know, you don't want to repeat your outfits, right? You're like, how many outfits do I have to kind of spread out, you know, my, you know, my uh, wardrobe here, right? So maybe that is kind of uh, the idea here. So how many total outfits can you make, right? Unique outfits. Well, let's uh, take a look at this using the fundamental counting uh, principle. Uh, so uh, we're going to first take a look at pants, and we're going to call this our first event, event one. So you're going to go select um, some pants, and how many different ways could you select uh, a pair of pants, right? Well, three different ways, because we obviously have three types of pants you can um, uh, choose from. So there's three ways you can um, uh, select, or uh, three ways that this event can occur, okay? Now, let's talk about shirts. Well, how many different ways can we uh, select a shirt? Well, we only have two types of shirts. So our second event, there's only two uh, ways to uh, select um, uh, that event, right? And then, of course, shoes. How many different ways? Well, we just have two pairs of shoes. And this is our third event. So this is uh, two ways. Now, the fundamental counting principle here, by the definition, it says if one, uh, if one event can occur in M ways and another in N ways, well, this can keep going on and on and on. And then a third event can occur in Z ways. You just keep, you basically just keep multiplying it. And these are events, right? This is like uh, selecting uh, pants. This would be like selecting shirts. This would be, you know, you call this a Z, uh, selecting shoes and so forth. Okay. But again, this is the justification that I was looking for to kind of support your answer. All right, so the number of ways all these events can happen, i.e. the total number of outfits you could create is simply three times two times two, which of course six times two is 12. Okay, so again, I think a lot of uh, students um, you know, don't realize that counting is a big topic in mathematics, right? You might, well, counting, yeah, I know how to count. One, two, three, look at me, I'm really good at counting. Well, you know, when you're doing more sophisticated counting, using things like the fundamental um, uh, counting principle, also using things like permutations and combinations, and this plays into, uh, you know, um, uh, the topics, uh, math topics involved in statistics, probability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, now if you got this problem right, this was a pretty easy problem, so that's great. If you didn't get this right, uh, just use this as feedback. But uh, you, uh, if you um, really want to be fully ready, you have to study for this exam. Okay, there's a lot kind of writing on it. So whether you use a course like mine or some other material, just make sure you study and uh, don't wing it, even if you think you're uh, pretty good at math, right? And if you're not good at it, just do the best you possibly can, okay? Uh, you know, again, you don't want to place into a course uh, that's beneath your, you know, current math potential. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the AccuPlacer QAS Math Placement Exam and all your goals. Thank you for your time and have a great day.